Hey everyone, hope you're having a great day and welcome to the channel. So today's video is going to be a little bit different than my normal tour review video. Um, my brother actually just bought his first house. So I figured why not get him something as a housewarming gift that he can use and kind of grow into. Uh, so I'm going to get him his first real toolbox here. This is the US General 5 drawer uh, tool cart. And you don't have to try very hard to find all the ridiculously good reviews on this cart especially for the price point. It's gone up a little bit, but really you get a lot out of this cart, which is why I chose to go with it. I went with the slate gray color, which is one of their newer uh, colors, but comes in, I think like eight different colors. So it's really a great cart. Then as far as tools I'm putting in it, I've got the Craftsman 216 piece tool set here. If you saw uh, my tour review videos from last year's mechanic tool sets uh, for like the Black Friday deals, this thing was on sale for hundred dollars and just it was really tough to beat this kit. I think I bought four of them just to use ones in my truck and then use as gifts. Uh, really great range of sizes inside there. Hopefully they go on sale for the same price again. I think they've been over $200 uh, when not on sale. So hopefully we get another set like that on sale this year. Then I've got the 15 piece Quinn screwdriver set. Um, I think the quality is gonna be more, more than sufficient for what he's gonna need them for. Uh, the screwdrivers that I use on a daily basis in my garage were $15 from Costco. Um, so you don't have to be crazy and get, you know, super expensive screwdrivers, uh, you know, when you're just starting for sure. And I also have the uh, six-piece Pittsburgh uh, plier set. It's one of their lower grade sets. I think it was $15 for that set there. Uh, it'll get the job done for them for a long time. And, uh, and really it is a pretty great set for the price. So one last thing I'll be using is a little bit of Kaizen foam to lay out the tools in the drawers. Uh, I think it looks awesome. It is great for tool account accountability. It's easy to open it up a drawer and see if you're missing something. Uh, is it a waste of space? Absolutely. Uh, but it does have its purpose. Um, I've got it in my box and, and I, I love it. When I run out of space, yeah, I may, you know, convert to socket rails or something like that, but I really do love this stuff for, uh, for just, you know, cleanliness and, and layout in the box. So now I'll get this box put together and get all these tools in it. And we'll take a look at it.
All right, so just got everything laid out in this box. So let's take a look at uh, what I'm gonna set them up with. All right, so on these US, US General boxes, you've got a really nice top uh, part. Gonna give them, you know, a level, something that's really necessary all the time for hanging anything. Uh, just some zip ties, always find uses for those. Tape measure, pretty basic. Uh, here, got the uh, Quinn, I believe it's a 17 piece screwdriver set. Pretty much everything he's gonna need for a long time. The quality's good enough for what he's gonna be using them for. And they have a great warranty. Over here, you've got just some uh, different Pittsburgh pliers. Uh, not a huge selection, but will help him for a really long time. And he should be able to get by with most tasks for, for quite a while with those. They should really get the job done for the most part. And I have them set up in this Tecton uh, plier uh, organizer. It just made more sense to organize these this way. Uh, it takes up way less space. And then right here are some uh, flex head, or not, sorry, not flex head, ratcheting wrenches. Uh, there's metric and SAE in here. Uh, not something that I think is necessary for him to have at this point, but they are great tools if you've got, if you've got uses for them. I love having ratcheting wrenches uh, whenever I can use them if possible. So moving on over here, we've got combination wrenches, Allen wrenches, uh, your different um, quarter inch drive uh, nut drivers, a nut driver right here, and then all the different bits for it. Uh, this is all part of the Craftsman 216 piece set and uh, covers a pretty decent range. I'm going to put some labels uh, on all these wrenches so it's easier to see them, but they set in there pretty nice cut out like this. They don't take up much space. It's a nice presentation and uh, really it should get them by for a while just like this. Now on the Allens, you've got the metric and SAE up here. Down here in this drawer, this is all from the 216 piece Craftsman set. You've got all your ratchets. You've got all the quarter inch drive over here. You've got your uh, 3 8 drive metric shallows and then deeps and then SAE shallows and deeps. Your half inch drive uh, metric, half inch drive SAE. All your extensions, uh, universal joints, uh, extension up here. A little bit extra space if he does uh, find something you know, a, a socket that he needs uh, that's not in here already uh, if he needs to cut out another spot. But really this covers a huge range. I got by with a set that had even less than this for a very long time. Uh, so this really should get him by for a long time. And then down here, you've got just a nice large open drawer and then, you know, tons of space underneath there too. So really set him up with a really decent starter set of tools, obviously, he has way more to go as he's going to be, you know, doing different projects around the house, different electrical tools, irrigation tools, drip tools. But I'm hoping this will work out for him for quite a while. He has a lot of room to expand on it, and eventually uh, he may outgrow it. But for now, it uh, should work out. All right, so I just got back from dinner, and unfortunately, he walked out a little bit before I was expecting, and I wasn't able to get it recorded. Uh, but he did love the box. Uh, it really should be a great box for him for a long time. Uh, I use a set that was... It had even less of a range than that for a really long time. And until I started working on, on cars and larger projects, I really had, didn't outgrow that set. So he should be good for a while. And as he you know acquires more tools and does other projects around the house, there's still a lot of space in the box for him to just keep adding to it without needing another box. Um, as far as cost goes, um, the price of the box, you know that's pretty standard. It's gonna fluctuate depending on if you can get a deal or not. Um, so if you, just wait until the 20% offs come along and then it's a lot better of a deal. Um, for the tools, I think I had around $130 in tools in it. Uh, it was um, $100 for the mechanics tool set on sale. Uh, definitely should wait for the sales on those because the re regular prices are just crazy on them. Uh, for the screwdrivers and the plier sets, I think they were 15 each um, on sale also. So really for 130 bucks, it's a pretty great set of tools. And of course it's not, complete. I mean, tool, tool set is never complete, um, but it should get him by for a really long time. Get him a good start also. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you guys again soon.